there are hundreds and hundreds of string libraries out there, not to mention even orchestra libraries that have string sections in them as well. And this video is not about trying to convince you of which one to buy. That's up to you. You have to decide that for yourself. I just want to show you how you can take advantage of multiple different string libraries and how you can mix and merge them together to achieve the string sound that you want, focusing on short strings. First disclaimer, short strings don't need as much reverb as long strings. With long strings, it's okay if you have like a large hole that you place them in for your melodies. For short strings, you want to keep a little bit of the punch and the attack of the sound alive. In this piece, Battle Cry of Heroes, linked above if you want to listen to it in its entirety. The momentum is carried for a large part by short strings, going in 16s almost all the way through the entire piece. And for this effect, I used multiple short string patches across different libraries to create the effect that I wanted. So the first place where I use this is in the low strings, where I've used a combination of short basses and celli from both East-West Hollywood strings, as well as a Dio Adagio strings in Adagetto. And together they sound like this. I chose to layer these libraries to create this really big in your face low string sound. And I want to dive a little bit deeper into the short strings because that's where it gets a little bit more interesting. So for these short higher strings, I use two different sample libraries. The first one is from East West, it's Hollywood strings. And I used a patch where you can change the length of the staccato slightly by using the mod wheel. So if we try that here for the violins. So mod wheel up. It's a slightly longer staccato, mod wheel down, it's a really short one. I use this to make the first notes of the pattern a little bit longer than the other ones that follow it to create a little bit more emphasis on the melody notes as it, as it were. So these notes would stick out a little bit more. And the thing that really drives the piece forward is the repeated D that you see over here. And for this note, I used an additional library. This library is called Action Strings. It consists of dozens of pre-recorded phrases ready for you to use. Loads of them are staccato, as you see here. That's often used in action music, of course. Now, one of these is just a sample of repeated 16 notes, the ones that I've loaded up here. The downside of this is that it becomes a little bit too repetitive if you just hit it and play. However, the upside is they are pre-recorded repeated 16th notes and therefore in its essence more realistic already than the separately recorded round robin short notes from the other string library. So I chose to layer this action strings patch with the repeated 16th notes with the other string samples I have to support the 16th movement that is going on throughout the thing. And I'll just play it so you can hear the difference. So this is with everything together and I'll just mute these string action strings and put them back in. <laughs> So the action strings on its own, I don't like a lot, but layered with the other strings, it really helps to carry the movement forwards and helps put some drive into this repeated note. I want to cover another example. This is on a track I did an extensive breakdown on already, and I'll link that above. And in this track, I have a section where the staccato strings are very important. And here I like to use sampled individual string sections. So the violas, the celli, violins, basses layered with a string ensemble patch. The string sections, they are recorded with a great deal of detail. It's just a section they are focused on and they record loads of different articulations you can switch between. So if you would listen to the section with only the sampled sections. So you hear it has a great sense of detail. However, it's not as large as I would like. And that's where the string ensemble patch comes in. This one usually has a bigger sound. Uh, however, it's not as detailed as the separate sections. So let me just play the ensemble patch solo. If you layer these two together, you get the detail of the sampled string section together with the largeness of the ensemble patch.
So there's just some tips from me how to improve your short string sounds by using different sample libraries and layering them together. I hope that's been helpful. If you liked it, please show. Consider subscribing as well if you want to see more of these. And as always, from my space to yours, I hope you have a great day.